On May 5, 2021, South Korean police received a report. She said her friend, Jong Do Young, had been unreachable for two days. The police came to Jong's home under the guidance of the police caller. Everyone was stunned by what they saw after the door was broken. A putrid smell pervaded the darkened room. There was also the smell of blood. A man was sitting barefoot in the living room. Left-handed beer and right-hand bread. It was lovely. There were three dead women not far from him. Under questioning by the police, the man replied undaunted and with a strange tone. Yeah, I killed all three of them. I like her so much. I can't believe she deleted my contact information. So you should kill. By this she means Jong Do Young. This man is the demon behind the murder case that shocked South Korea in 2021. Kim Tae Hyun. So what kind of relationship do they have? Let's look at that in detail. Jong Dae Young is actually a poor girl. Her father died young. He lived with his mother and his sister because of her beautiful appearance and cheerful personality. So there are a lot of friends around. She likes shopping and eating delicious food. Another hobby is to play League of Legends. The game is also very popular in South Korea. Kim, who was born in November 1996, has no permanent job, has been doing odd jobs to make ends meet. The only way to make money is to play online games. The two met while playing video games as a team. Kim Tae Hyun's online name is Little Pigskin Jia. Since he friended her, Kim often contacts her on the internet. Kim Tae Hyun will contact her as soon as she goes online. One by one, the two gradually got to know each other. I friended him as a matter of course. They also communicate privately through social media. At this time, I also learned that the real name of Little Pig Skin Jie is Kim Tae Hyun, and that lasted about three months. On January 23, 2021, they arranged to meet each other, which is often referred to as meeting an online friend. When we meet, Jong also brought along two friends, a man and a woman. He saw Jong talking and laughing with his friends. Kim Tae Hyun kept a straight face. Jong also found out about his condition. Repeated attempts to liven things up were unsuccessful. It was embarrassing for everyone. During this period, Jong finds that he is not suitable for friendship, so I blocked his contact information when I got home, including friends in the game. However, just because Jong gave up does not mean Kim Tae Hyun will give up. So what was he really like? Let's get to the bottom of this. The year after he graduated from college, he joined the army began two years of military service. Every male in South Korea is required to do military service between the ages of 18 and 28. Two years as a soldier didn't turn him into a law-abiding citizen. He was idle after retiring from the army, make a living on the side, before long stealing money from the supermarket checkout counter. It was caught on camera. The boss, out of kindness, did not call the police. He turned out to be a bit of a loner and a loner. Colleagues also reported violent tendencies and harassing female employees at work. He was soon fined $250 for continuing to harass people on social media. With the passage of time, the Z Act committed by Kim Tae Hyun is getting worse. In the summer of 2019, he was fined 300,001 for entering a women's bathroom to take photos. In 2020, Kim Tae Hyun was fined 2 million won after recording himself groaning and sending it to an underage girl. He had three run-ins with the law. Each time it gets more aggressive. His behavior is worse. His character bolder. He's like a ticking time bomb under the eyes of the masses. It could be detonated at any moment. Then he met Jong Do Young. Not long after Jong Do Young blocked him, Kim Tae Hyun found her home exactly. Because the day they met, they split up. Kim Tae Hyun followed her all the way, got the exact address of her house. We move time forward. Kim searched the internet several times with his mobile phone before the murder. The first search was for the most urgent hideout. The second is how to kill someone quickly. The third is known in South Korea as a suicide mecca. Maypo Bridge. This is clearly a premeditated murder. He put on a white backpack and gloves before the murder. Head to toe black set out. At 5.13 p.m., surveillance video placed him in Jong's neighborhood. 
Enter a neighborhood convenience store and leave after only a few minutes. At 5.22 p.m., the cameras picked him up again. This time he went to the smoking section. What does he seem to be wandering for? Soon he went to another convenience store to buy cigarettes. At night, he disguised himself as a delivery boy and snuck into Jong's apartment. Find Jong Du Young's house. He tried to knock on the door, and in a moment it opened. He thrust a foot into the room. It was Jong's 22 year old sister who answered the door. After the confirmation is correct, forced his way through the door and slammed it shut. Tragedy happened. He took out a sharp knife in his arms and pointed it at Jong's sister. After killing her sister, he sat quietly beside the body. The apartment was silent at night. The neighbors were completely unaware of the tragedy. At 10.30 p.m., the lock on the gate was unlocked. Jong's mother enters the room. Kim catches her by surprise. Resistance seemed futile. The death toll rose to two. Just an hour later, Jong returned home. When he found his mother and sister lying on the ground, a figure rushed out. Soon all three of them were cold bodies. Well, usually the first thing that happens after a murder is the suspect cleans up and leaves. Kim tae hyun on the other hand, is very calm. He arranged the bodies neatly together. He spent three days with the body. In the meantime, he tried to take his own life, but every time it ended in failure. Three days later the police came round. The reason was that Jong's friends expressed concern over her sudden disappearance, and called the police. Friends and neighbors were shocked. Kim tae hyun was discharged from the hospital a week after his suicide. He was immediately granted arrest. South Korea was outraged when the incident was reported by the media. After Kim tae hyun was arrested, kneeling live on national media and making a public apology. He said he always felt guilty about it. What law does an apology need if it works? He was later charged with crimes including murder, burglary, home invasion, five counts of infringing on citizen information. Considering his already confessed to murdering the Jong Du Young family, he was sentenced to life imprisonment with a ban on parole, which means he's in jail for the rest of his life. He faces up to five years in prison and a hefty fine of more than $43,000. But for the victim, punishment often comes too late. It's more important than punishment to stop him in the first place, although the law has moved in a better direction. But it was too late for Jong's family of three.